Hi, welcome to this video. It's going to talk about how to find the horizontal or vertical distance on the coordinate plane. Um, the points that we're going to look at in these examples are going to be directly across from each other or directly above each other. So um, it's a very uh, simple type of topic to learn. There is another way to find the distance of um, two points when they're kind of diagonal from each other. You would need something called the distance formula. And I have a video that will tackle that for you. Um, so that would be more of an advanced type of distance uh, algebraic operation, whereas this here is kind of a very simple, almost arithmetic operation. All right, so for each of the four problems that we're going to do, we're going to have a graph, and it has um, some points already on it. The graph that we're looking at here, we have point A and point B. Um, just, just so that I can quickly fit this in, for point A, let's say that we want to put um, the ordered pair that's attached to it. This isn't necessary, but just so that it's kind of in your mind. A, if we need it as an ordered pair, it's represented by an X value and a, and a Y value. So the X value is how many over this direction from 0, 0, and that's over to at negative 3. So if we were going to express that part of the ordered pair, it's at negative 3, and then we're going down 2, which is our Y value. You, again, you can see our axes. There's our Y axis. There's our X axis. Um, and so our ordered pair to represent A would be negative 3, negative 2. I'm just throwing that in there because I'm assuming that since you're working on this sort of thing in the coordinate plane, um, you might potentially need a reminder of what an ordered pair is. Um, the ordered pair, the X will always go first and the Y will always go second. If we wanted to label the ordered pair for B, this one, uh, let's see if we look at where we are in relation to the x, we go over 3. So that one's actually a positive 3, and the y value also goes down 2. So that's just how we would express the b value and the a value if we were asked to. Um, okay, back to this topic. If we want to find the distance, this is horizontal. There's a distance between them. And all we have to do, honestly, is to count how many spaces there are. We're not going to count the point that we start on, but we are going to count the point that we end on. So I'm putting a little dot here at A just so you can see where I'm starting. Don't count that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So our distance is six. Um, some people are quote unquote, I guess I could say rebels. They might have started at B and gone to A. All right. So if we started at B, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, and it almost is tempting to write that the distance is negative six, but whenever we're talking about distance in math, it's a positive value, okay? So keep that in mind. So whichever way you start, whichever point you start with and where you end, it's always going to be a positive value. All right, let's look at the next one. These two points are labeled with A's and B's. Um, there's a line already drawn across them. It's just another way that this problem can look. And again, our um, method of operation, our MO, is going to be basically the same. I'm going to start on the left-hand point. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it just happens that this is also a distance of six. Okay, let's get the next one. This one is vertical. It's a straight up and down. One point is above the other. They put the ordered pairs in there for us. Sometimes you'll see them, sometimes you won't. Um, and again, it's just a matter of just counting again. So I'm going to start with the upper one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to pick all of these to be six, but apparently that's what I've done. Um, some textbooks will get kind of uh, fancy and they'll say like, well, since it's a vertical distance, our X value will remain the same. And the way that you calculate it is to subtract your Y values. That's all well and good. And it is true that nine minus three equals six. Um, it's just a little bit more of a thing. Um, the textbooks will then say, well, you want to take the absolute value of that subtraction. And that's another whole algebraic topic. And it works for sure. Um, but I feel like the easiest way is just take a pencil and count and then just remember that it has to be a positive value. Okay, we only have one more of these. This doesn't look like it'll be six. Hallelujah. Um, so what we're going to do is the same sort of thing. And um, we have a vertical distance going on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So our distance is 13 units. All right, um, that's about the gist of it. It's a, it's, again, it's kind of an introductory topic. Um, if you, if you uh, want to progress with it, the distance formula will be in another video that I do. And that is really, it looks a little complicated, but you're plugging in numbers and then just really it's, it becomes an order of operations problem. But thanks for tuning in and I hope this helped. Thank you.